And speaking of the election here in Oklahoma, Republicans sweep all five of the state's congressional districts. In District 1, three candidates were hoping to fill the seat of Congressman John Sullivan, who lost in the Republican primary. With 100% of the precincts now in, Jim Bridenstine won with strong support from GOP voters with 63% of the vote. Democrat John Olson fought hard, but it was an uphill battle for him all the way. Independent Craig Allen trailed a distant third. And we've got the winner for District 1 live here in the studio with us this morning. Please welcome new Republican Congressman Jim Bridenstine. Good morning. Good morning. Let me start by saying congratulations. And well, thank you. Thanks for joining us so early. Did you get any sleep last night? Very little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe two or three hours, but uh, it was uh, well worth it. Oh, I'm sure. All right. Well, we have to ask you now that you have been elected. Uh, What's your first goal? What do you plan to do to start with? Well, there's a lot of things we have to do. Uh, we need to put together a team. Uh, we need a, a, a team here in the home district. We need a team in Washington, D.C. We also, uh, uh, freshman orientation starts next week. Wow. <laughs> so not a whole lot of time. <laughs> right We've got to work. get to business right away. Don't have much time. You're going to be inheriting uh, pretty much the same situation we've had for the past two years. Democrats uh, in control of the White House and the Senate. Republicans uh, in control of the House. How hopeful are you that you'll be able to get anything done? Well, you know, I, I heard the president last night say that he wanted to sit down with Governor Romney and talk about areas where Republicans and Democrats can work together. And I, I take him on his word with that. Uh, certainly there's going to be a lot of Republicans watching. Uh, and it'll be my pleasure to serve in the, in, you know, the first district in Washington, D.C. And, 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 and hopefully work with the president in accomplishing some things that we all agree need to be done. You've been very outspoken throughout the campaign about many things, uh, Obamacare, um, abortion. Well, how do you plan to tackle some of those uh, issues? Well, certainly there, there, are, um, there are a lot of issues that, that have to be dealt with absolutely, you know, almost immediately. Um, we're looking at the largest tax increase in American history set to take place on January 1st. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping things can get done with that in the lame duck. If not, then that's something we're going to have to deal with. We're looking at some of the biggest defense cuts our country has ever seen. Um, again, I'm hoping this can be dealt with in the lame duck. It's going to require Republicans and Democrats to work together. If not, uh, then that's something I'm going to have to deal with uh, when, I get, when I get sworn in on January 3rd. Um, so, so there are big things that we have to do. We have to pass a budget. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yes, very important. We, haven't, we haven't had a budget for three years. So, so, so now there, we need serious governance that, that can accomplish some of these tasks. And to go back to the new federal health care law, obviously it's something uh, you ran on uh, trying to repeal it. Sure. Republicans have tried to repeal it now uh, many times in Congress. Now that the president's going to be uh, still in the White House, obviously, is that a fight that you think is now over with, or do you think Republicans will try again? Well, the, there is no, uh, first of all, the president of the United States has already set the precedent. There are over a thousand different companies and, and institutions that have received waivers. And, and my goal as a, as a member of Congress will be to make sure that my constituents receive waivers when they want waivers. Uh, it's not just about who the president's friends are, it's about uh, our country. And Obamacare is not good for business, and I've heard this on the campaign trail across the first district, that we need to get Obamacare repealed so they can get back to growing their businesses and creating jobs. Uh, so ultimately, uh, I'm going to be looking forward to serving uh, the, the constituents in the first district, and if I can get folks waivers that need waivers, that's what I'm looking to do. Congressman Jim Bridenstine, again, congratulations on your victory last night. Looks like you've got a, a lot of work ahead of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Busy few months. Thank yes. you. All right.